Mary Ure, a talented Scottish actress, left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. Born in 1933, Ure's passion for acting was evident from a young age. She trained at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art and quickly made a name for herself in the 1950s. Ure's breakthrough role came in the 1958 film Look Back in Anger, where she starred alongside Richard Burton. Her performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, earning her a BAFTA nomination for Best British Actress. This classic film, which resonated with the disillusionment of the post-war generation, was a testament to Ure's ability to portray complex and nuanced characters. In the early 1960s, Ure starred in several successful films, including The League of Gentlemen and Sons and Lovers, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Her ability to captivate audiences with her powerful performances was evident in every role she played. Ure's career was not limited to film. She also made a name for herself on the stage, appearing in several successful productions, including A Man for All Seasons and The Cherry Orchard. Her talent and versatility were recognized by her peers, and she won a Tony Award for Best Actress in a play for her performance in Look Homeward, Angel. Despite her success, Ure's life was not without its challenges. She struggled with depression and addiction, which ultimately led to her untimely death in 1975 at the age of 42. However, her legacy lives on, and her contributions to the film and theater industry continue to be celebrated and cherished by fans and industry professionals alike. Ure's ability to bring characters to life and her commitment to her craft have left an enduring mark on the industry. Her talent and dedication continue to inspire aspiring actors and actresses around the world. This classic actress's impact transcended her time, and her work remains a testament to her indelible spirit and enduring legacy. Mary Ure was a talented Scottish actress, best known for her work in the 1950s and 1960s. She first gained recognition in the play, Look Back in Anger, which opened in 1956. Ure's inspiring career included numerous stage, film, and television roles. Do you have a personal story about how Mary Ure has impacted your life? or perhaps a memory related to this classic star. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. You might recall Ure from her role in the movie Sink the Bismarck, or her Tony-nominated performance in A Man for All Seasons on Broadway. Her career, though cut short by her untimely death in 1975, remains cherished by many. Were you inspired by Mary Ure's work in The Great Escape? Or does her portrayal in Where Eagles Dare stand out in your memory? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Stay tuned, as we have many surprising, funny, and even emotional facts about Mary Ure coming up. So, keep watching this video to learn more about this remarkable actress. Born in Glasgow, Scotland in 1933, Mary Ure grew up in a family deeply connected to the arts. Her father was a successful architect, while her mother, a gifted pianist, encouraged her love for the theater. Ure's early years were spent in England, where she attended a series of boarding schools that nurtured her artistic talents. At the age of 16, Ure's family moved to London, and she began to explore her passion for acting. She enrolled in the Central School of Speech and Drama, where she honed her craft and developed a love for Shakespearean theater. Ure's natural talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of her instructors, who recognized her potential as a leading lady. During her time at the Central School, Ure met and befriended several influential figures in the theater world. One of her mentors was the renowned British director, Peter Brook, who cast her in several of his productions. Under Brook's guidance, Ure developed her unique style and approach to acting, which would become her trademark throughout her career. Another key influence on Ure's career was the American actor and director, John Gilgud. Gilgud recognized Ure's potential and cast her in several of his productions, including a highly acclaimed performance in The Cherry Orchard. Ure's work with Gilgud solidified her reputation as a serious and dedicated actress, and she quickly became a fixture in the London theatre scene. In addition to her work in the theatre, Ure also appeared in several classic films, including The Battle of the River Plate and Sons and Lovers, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. Throughout her career, Ure remained deeply committed to her craft, and her work continues to inspire and influence actors and directors around the world. Mary Ure was a Scottish actress, born in Glasgow in 1933. She was the youngest of three children in a family that valued education and the arts. Her father, a professor of education, and her mother, a former actress, encouraged her to pursue her passion for drama. Ure's early life was marked by a love for the stage 
She attended the Glasgow Academy of Musical and Theatrical Arts, where she honed her acting skills. After graduating, she moved to London to further her career. In the 1950s, Yur began to make a name for herself in British theatre. She starred in several successful productions, including Look Back in Anger and A Taste of Honey. Her performances were praised for their emotional depth and authenticity. Yur's success on the stage led to roles in film and television. She starred in the classic movie Sink the Bismarck and the popular TV series The Avengers. Her work in these productions helped to establish her as a versatile actress. Throughout her career, Yur was influenced by a variety of factors. She was inspired by the social realism of British theatre and the method acting techniques of the Actors Studio in New York. She was also influenced by her personal experiences and relationships, which she often brought to her roles. Yur's career was tragically cut short when she died in 1975 at the age of 42. However, her legacy as a talented actress continues to this day. Her contributions to British theater and film are still celebrated, and her performances continue to resonate with audiences. From a young age, Mary Yur found solace in the arts, particularly theater. She was born in Glasgow, Scotland, in 1933, and moved to London during her teenage years. Her mother, a former actress, encouraged her interest in performing. At 16, she secured a place at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. During her time at RADA, Yur flourished under the guidance of renowned acting coach Michel Saint-Denis. In his class, she landed the lead role in Gina Newell's The Rehearsal Opposite Alec Guinness. This opportunity allowed Yur to hone her skills alongside seasoned professionals, further solidifying her passion for acting. One evening, while attending a performance of Tennessee Williams' Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, something extraordinary happened. As Elizabeth Taylor captivated the audience with her portrayal of Maggie Pollitt, Yur felt a spark ignite within her. Watching Taylor's raw emotion and powerful presence inspired Yur to push herself even further in pursuit of her dreams. After graduating from RADA, Yur quickly made a name for herself in British theater. Soon enough, Hollywood came knocking, offering her roles in films like Where Eagles Dare alongside Richard Burton and Clint Eastwood. Despite achieving success in both mediums, Yur always considered herself a stage actress above all else. Throughout her illustrious career, Mary Yor remained dedicated to honing her craft and pushing boundaries. Even after facing personal struggles and setbacks, she continued to leave an indelible mark on every project she took on, proving time and again that her love for acting would never waver. Mary Yor's life was marked by a tragic turn of events. The actress, who was born in Glasgow, Scotland in 1933, rose to fame in the 1950s and 1960s for her work in theater, film, and television. However, her career was cut short when she passed away in 1975 at the young age of 42. Yur's untimely death was the result of a tragic accident. She died by suicide, having ingested a large amount of barbiturates and alcohol. The actress had been struggling with depression and personal issues at the time, which may have contributed to her decision to take her own life. Yur's tragic end is a stark contrast to the success and acclaim she experienced during her career. She was a highly respected and talented actress, known for her work in classic films such as The Battle of the River Plate and Sons and Lovers, for which she received a BAFTA nomination. In addition to her film work, Yur was also a successful stage actress, appearing in productions of Look Back in Anger and A Man for All Seasons in the West End. She was married to actor Robert Shaw, with whom she had three children, and was also briefly married to actor John Finch. Despite her many accomplishments, Yur's life was marked by personal struggles and tragedy. Her death was a shock to the entertainment industry and to those who knew her, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of mental health and seeking help when needed. Mary Yur, a talented actress, faced several challenges in her early career. Born in Glasgow, Scotland in 1933, she experienced financial struggles. Despite these hardships, she pursued her passion for acting demonstrating resilience and determination. Yur's journey to success was not easy. She encountered skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her abilities due to her humble background. However, she refused to let this discourage her. Instead, she used it as motivation to work harder and prove her worth. To overcome these obstacles, Yur sought creative solutions. She took on various roles in local theater productions, honing her skills and gaining experience. This allowed her to build a strong reputation and eventually catch the attention of influential figures in the industry. One of Ur's most notable achievements was her performance in the film The Great Escape in 1963. 
Despite facing initial skepticism, she delivered a powerful performance that solidified her place in film history. Through hard work, determination, and creativity, Mary Ewer overcame early obstacles and became a successful actress. Her story serves as an inspiration to those facing challenges in their own lives. As we delve into the career of Mary Ewer, one can't help but admire her powerful performances that left a lasting impression. The actress's work in films like The Battle of the River Plate and Sink the Bismarck showcased her versatility and dedication. Mary Ewer's work on stage was equally impressive. Her role in the original production of Look Back in Anger brought her to the limelight and earned her a Tony Award nomination. This classic play resonated with audiences, and Ewer's performance was a testament to her thespian skills. This accomplished actress also left her mark on television, with notable appearances in shows like The Foresight Saga and Play of the Month. Her work in these productions further solidified her status as a versatile and talented artist. As we celebrate Mary Ewer's creative spirit, let us take a moment to reflect on her enduring legacy. Her contributions to the entertainment industry continue to captivate audiences, and her work remains a vibrant part of this classics tapestry. So, dear viewers, we invite you to share your thoughts on Mary Ewer's work and legacy in the comments below. Let's celebrate this remarkable actress together and keep her memory alive. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.